Good morning. It's Saturday the 4th of July and this morning we were reading Joshua chapter 6 and Psalms 135 and 136. I hope you enjoyed those readings and this morning I just wanted to focus on Psalm 136 together. If you read that this morning, I'm sure there was one thing that you were left with as you read it. His love endures forever. By the time I got to the end of the psalm, I was finding it difficult to keep reading it because it was just repeated again and again and again. But it's such an important thing and it's obviously the thing that the psalmist wants us to see in all of God's acts throughout history. His love endures forever. The psalm begins, verse 1, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Just spend a moment thinking about that, that he is good and that his love endures forever. That God has been loving since before he made the world. In eternity, as is, as the Trinity, God already loved. And then out of his love, he created this world. And because his love endures forever, when Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, he didn't destroy them. He allowed them to continue to live. He spared them because his love endures forever. When the world became unspeakably wicked, he didn't destroy it completely, but preserved humanity through Noah. Out of that, he then chose Abraham because his love endures forever. And through Abraham, he then built a nation who would be able to reveal more of who God is so that they would be able to write Psalms that say, Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, his love endures forever. And then out of that nation he brought promises. Promises that a great king would come. That God's son would come, the Messiah. And through him he would save humanity from their sin. Because his love endures forever. Because his love endures forever he chose you. That you would put your faith in his son in his cross, that you would be saved and spend eternity with him. Because his love endures forever, this morning the sun rose and you will have food to eat. Because his love endures forever, you can have confidence that he will be with you every moment of every day. And that in your death, you will rise just like your saviour rose and spend eternity with him, the one who is good, the one whose love endures forever. This morning, I would love you just to spend some time thinking through the Bible. I tried to do a very quick run through. Thinking through the Bible and all the ways that God reveals that his love endures forever. And then I want you to think about Jesus. The Bible says in John, in 1 John 4 verse 10, This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Spend time thinking about the Lord Jesus and how he reveals God's love to us. And then think about today. Think about the different ways that God reveals his love to you, his unfailing, undying, eternal love to you today. And do what the psalmist says. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for who you are and for what you've done. We thank you that you are a God of love. An unchanging love that's been the same yesterday, today and it will be forever. We thank you for your love displayed in creation. We thank you for your love displayed in in the choosing of Israel. We thank you for your love displayed in the sending of your son, in the death of your son, in the resurrection of your son, and in the eternal life that you have given to us through him. Father, please help us to give thanks to you today because your love endures forever. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May God bless you today.